Y'all, please forgive me. They're doing a little construction outside of my house. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you could hear it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could hear it. This is my take on the Tribe Wonder 8 liter marathon hydration pack. Branded Aonije or Aoniji or how I would say it is Yanaji. <laughs> because we all got weird different accents and that's wonderful right now this little baby is retailing on amazon for 32.99 i got the vest only uh, on the day that i'm posting this there were only four of these left in stock i got the blue one just just the vest they come in different options there's a they come with one and a half liter uh, hydration packages not like this one. The reason why I didn't get it with a hydration pack or um, reservoir was because I like platypus. I, you know, this costs just as much as this did. So this is about $30 from REI. This was $33 on Amazon. It can also come with two water bottles. Water bottles are down here, go inside of these these pockets uh, that's a little more pricey 40 bucks yeah um, and there's also one with two soft water bottles 350 milliliters uh, that go right down in here as well and those that's that's even more that's $54 but compared to some of the other packs out there that retail for over 150 nearly $200 um, that I would I would actually compare this to this is a really really good deal in my mind um, and I you know encourage you to give it a shot uh, what I like about the bag this has breathable mesh shoulders um, fully adjustable side straps you can see how it's three-point adjustable that is on both sides um, these front straps, there's two of them here, I'll stay standing for a moment, they, they slide right along this rib, this corded, uh, ribbing here. This is a, uh, it's actually pretty durable feeling. It feels almost like wire in your clothing, like if you're, if you're a female, there's, uh, underwire in your bra that's kind of what that feels like but lots of storage uh, the storage it was important for me to get storage that was big enough for my monster of a of a previous gen phone <laughs> my iPhone 8 plus and to my surprise the front storage was adequate handled it really well very nice, very nicely fit in there. It's snug, it's not bouncing around. So that was something, that is something that you should consider. There's actually even more room than that in there. Uh, there's a pocket for your gels down here above the water reservoir uh, pocket. And so before I got into mechanics uh, I was actually a salesperson I sold sewing machines and so and I taught people how to sell and I, what was really important to me was the strength of stitching this here has very well reinforced stitching you can see the double stitching there this has already been through the washer and it held up very well the care instructions, we'll get to those later. They, um, you know, they just say wash with light colored clothing, basically. And it, it came out bright still. Uh, and it, it dried well in the dryer. Everything is holding together. <laughs> so I'm, I, I, you know, the durability test after about 14 miles with it, 
it, it's 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 holding up. It's it's a very very surprisingly durable bag. Um, what I also like about it is this reach around back back pocket. You can stuff your your poles through there and have them sit in here kind of like kind of like that if you if you have to uh, it cinches tighter and what I do is I put my sunglasses in there um, so it, it exists but it is not the easiest thing to get into whenever you're running so um, especially considering how high up the reservoir sits on your back which is a good thing you want the gravity, the center of gravity up higher to relieve strain on your lower back while you're running. If you can, you know, I'm trying to get a good visual for you. That right there is where it sits while you're running. It doesn't bounce around. So I'm impressed. Overall, I'm very impressed. What I do not, what I do not like about this bag um, there are only a couple of things, which is surprising. I thought there would be a few more things, given the price. What I don't like about it is that it is hot. This bag, even though it has this look to it, that does nothing. This, this padding here traps heat. It is, it is going to absorb moisture away from your body, and it is going to trap heat and it is going to smell funky whenever you're done running. So you will need to wash this pretty much after every every hop, every humid run, hot run that you, you, you take it on. Um, the other thing that I don't like about it is that even though the construction quality is high, the material feel is not premium. Now, you can say, you know, you only paid 33 bucks for it, and that's valid. That's a fair point. Um, perhaps I should consider something like this, uh, you know, to be a, an excellent deal, even given, the, even, even given the materials that it's constructed of. So, you know, I'll take that into consideration, and I think that... Um, if you ever find yourself in need of a running bag or a hydration pack, um, I say give it a shot. It's 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 a good deal, thirty three dollars, just for the pack though. If you want the reservoirs that come with it, uh, almost double the price. You can you can easily double the price of this thing. And this is the eight point eight liter model. Let me make sure I got that right. <laughs> yeah, no, eight liter. Try Wonder Hydration Vest. Um, so, if you're out there, need to stay hydrated, need your gear with you, gotta stay safe, it's a decent deal. Pick it up. Remember, what we're out here for is for peace, love, and majesty. Thanks for watching.